Hello guys, this is Revan from Digital Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 191. The IQ Z5 launch in India has been teased. This smartphone is listed on Amazon with the coming soon tag. The upcoming offering is set to launch in China next week. A new leak reveals a Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G new edition pricing and storage options in India. Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G new edition is tipped to launch at rupees 21,999 for the 6GB RAM and a 128GB storage variant. It will also be launched in 8GB RAM and a 128GB variant and 8GB RAM and 256GB storage options. After announcing the new iPhone 13 series lineup of smartphones a couple of days back, Apple has now started taking pre-orders for all the four devices in the lineup. On the same day that pre-orders were opened, the delivery time for the iPhone 13, 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max has slipped back in delivery estimates. On Apple's official site, if you try to pre-book the iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max, the delivery estimate for it lies between October 18th and October 25th, which indicates a delay of almost a month than what the company announced at the time of launch. The Realme GT Neo 2 arriving on September 22nd is officially confirmed to have a Snapdragon 870 processor. The company has also revealed the GT Neo 2 will come with a 120 Hz C4 punch hole display, 64 megapixel triple rear camera, 5000 mAh battery and 65 watt fast charging support. Now the latest information reveals that there is another version of GT Neo 2 which will be powered by a custom Dimensity 1200 AI chipset. This Dimensity 1200 powered GT Neo 2 will pack a smaller battery that is around 4500 100 mAh battery but it will charge at the same speed as a Snapdragon version. Samsung Galaxy A73 is tipped to come with a 108 megapixel camera and OIS support. This handset will come as a successor to the Galaxy A72. Samsung Galaxy A73 launch date is yet to be revealed. Samsung Galaxy S22 with the model number SM-S901U appears on Geekbench. The listing reveals a flagship phone features a Snapdragon 895 chipset. Other specifications include an 8GB RAM and an Android 12 OS. With a growth of 43 percentage compared to last year, PC and tablet manufacturer has shipped more than 4.1 million units in India in the second quarter of 2021. The tablet market has also seen a 52 percent boost in the second quarter as compared to the last year. The leader of the growth in the Indian laptop market is HP, capturing around 26 percentage of the market share in the second quarter. In 2021 quarter two, the manufacturer shipped around 1.066 million units, scored an annual growth of 54 percent. with 59% growth of its notebook products and Lenovo managed to secure the second position by shipping over 0.84 million units and capturing a 20% market share and the third on the list is Dell scoring a 40% of annual growth and taking 12.8% of market share Dell managed to ship around 0.525 million PC units in the second quarter of 2021 YouTube Mobile has rolled out a new translate feature for comments. The translate feature can translate over 100 languages. The new feature is now available for Android and iOS. Zoom is adding live transcription closed caption options to its meetings. Zoom will be implementing live translations in around 12 languages. Facebook VR will allow users to host meeting on Zoom and users collaborative white spaces. Google earlier this year launched a new feature for search results known as About This Result. The feature offers user context additional information about the website that appears in the search results. This feature was earlier rolled out in US and is now rolling out in a beta for users in India. This feature gives a little bit of context of the websites or links that appears in the search results in a card on the right side of the screen. Google abused the dominant position of Android operating system in India using its huge financial muscle to illegally hurt competitors the country's antitrust authority found in a report on its two year prop seen by Reuters Alphabet's Google reduced the ability and incentive of device manufacturer to develop and sell devices operating on alternative versions of Android this was seen in the June report by the Competition Commission of India's investigation unit There are some interesting stuff about an upcoming incremental update to Android 12, likely called as Android 12.1. We don't know the full scope of features for now, but it is possible that most of them, if not all, are aimed towards improving the foldable phone experience. It is also possible that this is a move to prepare for the foldable Pixel phone release. We spotted a docked taskbar feature in earlier beta builds of Android 12, and has found a tutorial along with some strings of code that hint at how the taskbar would behave. By default, the dock would stay open. 
open on the home screen or when a split screen view is initiated and will hide once you open up an app in full screen. Hold and drag an app from the taskbar to open it on either half of the screen when the phone is unfolded. Touch and hold the taskbar itself to dock or hide it and of course you can add apps of your choice. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.